Right, Mike, and outrage is growing around the world tonight over the killing of a well-known lion in Africa. Cecil the lion, the most famous animal in Zimbabwe's national parks, was killed earlier this month by an American hunter. 55-year-old Walter Palmer, a Minneapolis dentist and lifelong game hunter. In a statement, Palmer says he didn't know the lion's significance and relied on the expertise of local guides. Palmer belongs to a big game club that also has connections here in central Ohio. NBC4's Rick Reitzel spoke with one of the members today, experts at the Columbus Zoo, about the dwindling lion population. There are three African lions here in the heart of Africa at the Columbus Zoo, but officials here say worldwide those numbers are rapidly declining. Adam Feltz with the Columbus Zoo says both the population growth and poaching are taking a huge toll on the world's number of lions. We're still waiting to hear if Cecil the lion was killed by the Minneapolis dentist Walter Palmer and whether he was one of those victims of poaching. The bow hunters are most, you know, we do more for conservation than, than you know, anybody going. We, you know, we don't want that. That, that to happen. Palmer is a member of the same big game club as local bow hunter Ron Ryle, called the Pope and Young Club, but Ryle says that's where the similarities stop. If he did what he did, you know, and he admits it or he's found guilty of it, then he's going to have to you know, suffer the consequences of, of that. Columbus Zoo's Adam Feld says there's still hope in reversing the decline in the number of lions. There is hope for the lions. I mean, that's one of our, I, I hear at the Columbus Zoo, we really, really strive to make these connections with uh, our visitors that come every day and take that and into the conservation into the field. Palmer's two local guides were arrested and faced charges, and now Zimbabwe authorities say they want to speak to him about the killing of that lion. At the Columbus Zoo, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.